Welcome. In front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 8 Pro and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So, to get started we're gonna open up our settings and let's start off by going into the display section. Here we have a couple different things that I'm gonna be showcasing. So, number one we have the Splendid, which is the dumbest way of calling as settings that is associated with color scheme uh, but that's basically what it is so it allows you to choose the saturation of your display and you have several different options to choose from here so choose whichever one you want or like the most uh, i personally find that most of the devices have the colors overdone by default so i do like to have something a little bit more toned down with a little bit more yellowish tint to it which makes the device nicer to look at during like night time which is also the most time I spend on the phone anyway. Now, moving on to the next option, we have the refresh rate below right here. And we have several different options. Now, this device can go all the way to 165 hertz, which is pretty insane. Now, this option probably will be best at out of for most people, but for the people that maybe just want to preserve their battery life and they don't do anything that would require a higher refresh rate for instance maybe you tend to read a lot of the books on your phone then you probably would benefit from a 60 hertz which would drop down the resolution a little bit lower and give you better battery life continuing on if we keep on scrolling down we have the system color scheme basically choice between light and dark mode so here you can choose whichever one you want permanently or you can have it so it automatically switches based on sun, sunrise to sunset or on a custom schedule. I'm going to keep this off so it doesn't change right now. And moving on a little bit lower, we have status bar icon manager. This is a pretty neat option that not very many devices have. And what it allows you to do is hide all the icons uh, right here. That are associated with toggles so things like wi-fi bluetooth location uh, hotspots uh, nfc's and all that stuff you can simply toggle it off as in visibility of it so i'm just gonna go a little bit crazy right here and you can see that it, a bunch of uh, toggles start to disappear from here now i am going to keep the battery uh, even though you can hide it probably not the best idea so there we go i can see now all the icons are hidden while still everything being enabled i do know what is running on my device like localizations and all that stuff so i don't really care to see it all the time in my status bar and this is a fantastic way to get rid of that clutter now moving on to gestures which we also have somewhere in here there we go system navigation you can enable gesture navigation and what it does is basically gives you this bar at the bottom which you swipe up to go home swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from either side to go back additionally we have settings and here you can change the sensitivity of the back gesture when you start shifting it you can see it shows up this blue area this is where your finger needs to start the swipe from to the outside of that blue area to trigger the actual back gesture so you can increase it decreases it decrease it if you find that you're triggering the back gesture when just trying to kind of i don't know scroll a web page to the site or something like that you might want to uh, make the sensitivity of it a little bit lower which should help you with that now uh, a little bit lower there we have also gesture indication which uh, indicator which is this bar right here and we can hide it it serves no purpose to be honest so there's no reason for it to be on the screen i personally like to hide it uh, which also gives me cleaner look to the device and also one more last thing that was in here which is uh, the swipe to invoke assistant basically swipe for voice assistant if you use it you can keep it on and the way you use it is i think like this yep there we go so you swipe at a corner so off from the corner sideways and you can see that it brings it up you can turn that off if you don't use it as it serves no purpose uh, if you're obviously not using it and also might prevent you from miss swipes and there we go those are basically most of the 
tweaks and tricks around to show you. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.